I saw my dudes and welcome back to PLB Green. Today I've got this old pallet. I found this on the side of the road and I'm going to use it to build a vertical veggie patch. I've got all these old pots. Everyone, everyone who's a gardener's got these, man. You have stacks of them, you buy plants, you just gather them as you go. Here's a good way to use them, utilize them and put them to a productive and clever use. I'm just testing out the space, checking what will stack, checking what will hang. Once I've decided, drilling on one single screw per bucket or per pot. The bottom ones are going to be touching the ground. They're gonna be really heavy. Fill them up with Osmocote vegetable potting mix. This is stabilizing the whole pallet and is gonna help out in the long run. I wanna stabilize this structure even further. So I'm gonna put on a growing rack for these string beans, which are gonna go at the top. And I'm gonna drill it directly into my fence. I'll attach this growing rack into the pallet beneath with some small L brackets. And this should help to stabilize the entire structure and it will be quite strong. It will not fall down. The next layer of pots is slightly smaller than the first. And you'll see that the drainage holes at the bottom channel into the lower buckets. This will help when I water top down, the liquid will flow down through the channels and go into the lower pots and work its way all the way down to the bottom layer. The next two layers are these tiny little pots. They're so small, they don't need support from the pots beneath. I'm just gonna plant little lettuces in them. The top layer, of course, is going to be my string beans. And I've got a long pot and I'm just wiring it to the racking system behind with some garden wire drilling two holes into the bot pot itself. I have a large range of veggies and herbs here. I have some strawberries, some mint, some parsley, some oregano, some bok choy, and even some small lettuces, as I mentioned earlier. The planting process is one of my favorites. Look at me go. I'm planting the mint and oregano and parsley at the bottom, the strawberries on the second layer, and working my way up right to the top. For the two rows of smaller pots, I'm putting in some lettuces. I've left in a big gap between each row so the lettuce heads can grow comfortably. On the top rack, I'm packing in the potting mix for my eight string bean plants. These string beans will grow up the mesh that I have placed at the top of the vertical garden and hopefully provide me with some fresh veggies. The last step is a deep water for all of these freshly planted veggies. I'm watering from the top down so the water has a chance to channel its way down to the bottom pots. Here you can see it dripping down successfully into each of the layers. I managed to get some mulch for free off a mate of mine living in the Blue Mountains. Perfect, thanks Shanta. Used it wisely. Here's the vertical veggie garden one week later. All the veggies have perked up and grown a little bit. I think it's looking pretty good and it's been rather successful. I've already picked some of the coriander. I made a guacamole today. I really like the look of the whole thing. Success. I love the look of it outside of my lounge room window as well against the stained glass. It looks pretty good. See you next time guys. Thanks for watching PLB Green. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the bell button, baby.